you know, I, as an Amazon educator for nine years now, we just had a birthday here at Mommy Income and congrats, been teaching Amazon congrats. for nine years and have 20 years of my own e-commerce experience with, with starting with eBay and then with Amazon. And so I know firsthand what it's like. It's like playing logical dodgeball with them. Um, just back and forth. Like it's that. like, it's just kind of crazy how how um, they, their right hand does not know what their left hand is doing. And this is not an Amazon bash. This is like, I'm a tough love person. I'm an honest and authentic person. I'm never, ever going to tell anyone, even though I'm telling them, sell on Amazon, because I sell on Amazon and it has been very yeah. profitable. But I always lead the way with this is a bumpy road. And if you mm. learn to expect that, then the bumps don't surprise you as much. They're still frustrating and annoying, and we have to skirt around them and figure that out. But I'm also a very honest person. I don't want to do anything black hat. I have been at the wrath of Amazon for violating policies mm. before in 20 years. It's been you know a lot. Um, even on Amazon, I started in 2008, and so I am not without my my own personal experiences with suspensions and ASIN suspensions and them holding my money and them. In, IP claims and like if, if Amazon could do it to someone, it was probably me uh, at some point learning the things and then not even being in violation or claiming ignorance and they don't care about that. So knowing the terms of service, I love that you said that. Um, that is our number one way that we also fight, when I say fight with Amazon or present cases to them is saying this is in violation of terms of service number 22, blah, blah, blah. Here's how they violate it. And here's what we'd like to see happen. And then they're, you know, very bullet point, you know, Amazon does, they don't, they have, um, we, why at one point we interviewed somebody who, um, used to work at Amazon and they had to be super tight lipped about certain things. But what they did say was they had about 10 seconds to clear their queue yeah. on a regular basis. So some of them is very templated email. The AI is telling them these are some suggestions you can send back. And then some of them a lot more detailed, but the more um, bullet pointed you are with presenting a case to them and here's links and here's attachments, the more apt you are to have them, um, just actually have a human review yeah. your case and not get a canned email back. And so I'm always telling everybody, you know, we, we struggle a lot with branding and G10 exemptions and getting your brand registered and all those different things and documents and compliance and IP claims and inauthentic, inauthentic claims and things like that. And, um, that's one of the things that I've always taught is like stack your evidence, make it so easy that for them to say yes to you yeah. for your case that, you know, and it's, it's unfortunate, but it's also preparedness for you. It's your business. And honestly, let me just be frank. Amazon doesn't care very much about you. You are one tiny minnow in their, their ocean. And as much as we want them to care so much about us and our business and take five hours to solve our case, they're not. So the easier we make it for them, the easier it is for us to get the answers that we want to need. And sometimes it's just, you know, they don't, they don't adhere to their own policies to everyone. You'll see somebody doing this black hat thing over here and they're like, well, why can't I get away with that? And we're like, well, um, yeah. because you don't want to get away with that. You want to do things right yeah. so that you don't have to look, you constantly look over your shoulder. That's just, that's yeah. always me.